Hello, I'm John Hemingway. Welcome back to Shropshire. Today we're talking about exposure in lambs, death from exposure, what we mean when we use the term exposure. And we'll also touch on uh, explaining the thermoneutral zone in animals, which sounds very complicated, but it's not. But first, I thought we'd just recap why lambs are so good at losing body heat, why they have to work so hard to stay warm. Uh, and I apologise in advance if this is very obvious, uh, but of course it's due to their size. They're very small. Now, what you get with being very small is a very high ratio of surface area to body mass. So a lamb compared to an adult sheep or a cow uh, has got an awful lot of skin, an awful lot of surface area to be losing heat through compared to its body mass, which is generating the heat. This is obvious when you compare a sheep and a cow for example a, a cow could be 10 times the weight of a sheep uh, but a cow hide is not 10 times the size of a sheepskin the bigger an animal is the less surface area it has per kilo body weight the smaller it is the more surface area it has per kilo body weight so that's why lambs have to work very hard to keep themselves warm and why we have to take steps to make that as easy for them as possible So exposure, what do we actually mean when we use that word? Well, in this context, it simply means that an animal is not able to generate enough heat to keep its own body temperature up. Now, in a lamb, that's only gonna happen for one of two reasons. The first is that the environment is really cold, and I mean really, really cold. In that scenario, no amount of energy is gonna allow that lamb to generate enough body heat to keep itself warm. The second scenario, and this is far, far more common, is that yeah, the environment's a bit cold, but actually the lamb isn't able to generate enough body heat to keep itself warm because it doesn't have enough energy because it hasn't drunk. A lamb that's drunk is actually able to generate quite a phenomenal amount of energy and it's able to keep itself warm in really quite cold environments. But things that are gonna make it more difficult for a lamb to stay warm are things like wind chill and rain and being wet. That's why when you look at your weather app on your phone, it gives you the actual temperature and then it gives you a feels like temperature that incorporates wet, wind, all that sort of thing. So that's what we mean by exposure. Either it's really, really, really cold and the lamb just cannot cope or it's a bit cold and the lamb could cope if it had drunk lots and eaten lots and it was churning out lots of energy, but it can't because it's undernourished. Now at this point, it makes sense to introduce the concept of a thermoneutral zone. Along the bottom axis of this graph, we've got environmental temperature that's going from cold on the left all the way up to hot on the right. On the vertical axis, we've got the temperature of the lamb, the lamb's core temperature. So right now I am in my thermoneutral zone. I'm sat next to a radiator. Uh, it's lovely and warm and I'm not using any additional energy to try and stay warm. Now I'm now outside and I'm no longer in my thermoneutral zone because it's five degrees and it's raining. I actually feel pretty cold, but that's okay because my body's got enough energy to up its metabolic rate and keep me warm. And I can do that because I've just had a Kit Kat. But if I hadn't eaten for a day or two and I was stuck outside in this sort of weather, yeah, I'd start to feel pretty cold and I might start to see the signs of exposure. Now, it's a different sort of day today, but last night in Shropshire it did get down to minus seven. If you were stuck outside overnight, temperatures edging towards negative double figures and you weren't able to pile on a load of pretty serious coats, well, yeah, it wouldn't matter how many Kit Kats you had eaten, uh, you're always going to start feeling cold your core temperature is going to drop, you're going to get genuine hypothermia at that point. So, to summarise, death of a lamb from exposure does not mean that it got so cold that it literally couldn't live. Quite often it just means it's got short of energy because it hasn't drunk for some reason and that's meant that it's not been able to deal with the coolest temperatures that it's been exposed to. Lambs that are at high risk are going to be newborns, they're going to be lambs that aren't drinking because of mastitis or poor milk yield or something else like that. But the quicker your lambs are up and have got colostrum into them, the better the quality of the colostrum and the higher the total milk yield of the ewe overall, the less losses you are going to have to exposure. It is not all about the weather. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this very short video. I'll be back with another one soon and I hope to see you there.